Hi everyone, welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. I hope everyone is doing well on this hot summer day and our air conditioning is out. So yes, it's hot over here. So this DIY was inspired by a Joanna Gaines video I saw several years ago. I've made one of these DIYs before, but I'm just adding a little extra stuff to it. You wanna visit the wood pile section over at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, you'll need these wooden circles and they can be as large as 14 inches. I selected the 12 inch baseball in the middle. Love, love, love the thickness of the baseball. I knew I could get a really good hole in the back of it for hanging the item securely on the wall. And again, this is a 12 inch round. So I also selected the plaques. The plaques go up to about eight inches. And I'm gonna show you how to take this from the wall onto a table or a mantle a little bit later. We start out by drilling our hole in the back. It's the same hole you'll drill into those circles as well, straight down and then tilt the drill back so that there is an angle for you to slide that nail into on the wall. Now you want to go ahead and prep your circles for hanging. Get that done first and if you don't have a drill get a picture hanging kit and you can get these brackets and attach them to the back of your circle. If you want to stain the item, also check out Lowe's, beautiful stains there. Whether you wanna keep the natural driftwood or go with a pop of color, you know me, I'm all about the color. The next item you need are these beautiful driftwood pieces. Now, you used to find them in all large or all small, but now Hobby Lobby just has them all mixed together. So you want to prepare to separate them out based upon your project design. So I went ahead and opened up several packs and separated the larges and the smalls. And there are different finishes now. It used to be consistent, but they are not. Well, you know what has happened to impact that. So I'm able to select my lighter colored ones, my dark colors or not be concerned about it at all just the size but yes you can now only find them with the small and the large mixed together so you have to buy more than what you bargained for and again when you're 40% off just go ahead and rack up All of the pieces are valuable, even these little pieces. There will be cracks in your arrangement and you'll need just a tiny little piece, a piece that's probably already broken like this one. So definitely keep those separately. You know, you're gonna use them for sure. Try this tip. I love drawing these circles so that way I can have everything equal distance apart and the project goes a whole lot faster. So I didn't use um, a compass or anything like that. I'm just using dots, you know, measure out from the previous circle and then just kind of sketching your circle around. To ensure that you have all the same sizes, I recommend that you lay out all of your pieces first. Now notice that the pieces look like they're upside down and that little sloped end of those pieces are on the inside. Well, if I had that on the outside, when I put in that second roll, then they wouldn't have a piece or an area to rest on and tilt upward because you want this to look as if it's a flower in the very center and it's starting to lift up off of your wooden circle. That's the goal here. So lay out all of those pieces first and then you'll know that you have all the same sizes or even the same shades because when we talk about staining them, you'll see why in just a little bit about the staining of these pieces. You'll see, you'll see.
I think adding those smaller pieces makes the design a whole lot more interesting. When I did the smaller ones, sometimes I used all large pieces, sometimes I mixed them together. Either way, I followed the same format. It was easier on the smaller ones to just lay them out north, south, east, and west, and then fill in the blank spaces in between. It made things go a whole lot faster, and you didn't kind of have one side heavier than the other. You know what I mean? Now this decor is for all year round. Some may say it's fall decor, rustic decor, outdoor decor. It's solely up to you. If you like that relaxed sort of just raw natural wood vibe in your home like I do, and I have a couple of more DIYs to bring your way concerning that, then this is the thing that you wanna do. It really does relax the space. It really does. Oh, and let's not forget the coastal beachy vibe. This is perfect decor for that. Perfect. Leave it in the natural driftwood state. Don't stain it. Perfect. Love this for that. The first DIY was hanging in a bathroom that was tan. So the driftwood, original driftwood finish looked amazing. But now that most of our house is painted creamy, then I really wanted to darken the color. So suggestion to you, if you have light walls, then consider a stain. If you have a dark wall, then go ahead and leave it that natural driftwood finish. Okay, so all of your pieces come in one pack, but trust me, they're all a different color. That's just driftwood. When you apply the stain, apply it sparingly. Every piece is going to absorb the stain differently. The original color was on the original piece that you see here, and now that I'm going to a lighter wall, I want it to be much more richer, so I'm staining every single piece, and I love it because it is so different with all of the color on the wall. I just can't wait for you to see the result. Can't wait. You see it? Same stain, but different result every single time. Now the smaller pieces have an additional hole. It's the large hole on the side. Listen, if you're gonna do a DIY, make it a versatile DIY. This way I can place these items 
on a table. I can place them on a console. I can place them on a mantle. I'm using a 3 8 inch dial. I think it's around 10 inches. Just insert it into the base, which I drilled the same hole, and voila, and I have a completely different way of using this DIY when I take it off the wall. The base of this is a four inch round plaque. The flower portion has a five inch round plaque. You wanna make sure that the base can support the decor. And also guys, the driftwood pieces, they vary in sizes on one of the pieces. I used all large pieces and some of them I mixed them up. And again, those small broken pieces, they really are valuable as well because you'll have some cracks and you'll want to fill those in. On one of these, there is a crack. So I'm gonna go back and take a small broken piece and fill in that crack. But yes, notice how the stain hits every piece differently. I absolutely love, love, love this. And I think this will stay here for a minute. There's a hole right there, yeah. I'll put a small piece right there. I just saw that after hanging it up. But this is really a fun project and I love what it adds to our kitchen slash family room. Our, a portion of our cabinets, the island, the hood over the stove actually has this sort of honey finish and I will post the actual stain on the screen if you're interested in that particular stain and you want to do this project so I love how this turned out and I hope that you enjoy taking it on I think it looks high end oh let me say this you see from the side the difference when you're using the uh, flat circles versus the plaques which are a little bit thicker but there's a difference on the side so angling those driftwood pieces makes a difference whether you're angling those just flat outward or angling them upward that's your choice but you know that I like for it to be flat around the edges for that reason alone not to show that whole piece underneath so anyway you know what I'm trying to say I staged this very simply I uh, had a lamp in the attic I'm not fond of that we'll have a mercury glass lamp coming and it's an amber color you know more of that fallish hue and I'm really excited about that I'm trying to find a cheaper version because um, that's just what I want, a cheaper version from what I've seen. But you get the drift of this. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you take this on. And um, I look forward to reading your comments. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative. Back to DIYing. There's more to come.